vibes. I am so sorry that I have slept on Quezzy Arthur's album. I can't believe I'm saying that. I can't believe, I'd like, it's a violation. I am so sorry. I really respect Quezzy Arthur. I think he's a great artist. For some reason, I never got around to listening to the album properly. I think I would listen to like one or two songs in between and I was like, yeah, man, I need to get back to this. I need to get, and then life took over. I was like, nah, I, I know that I need to sit down and really listen to it to appreciate it. Then today I had some time in the afternoon. I was like, okay, now I actually have to listen to it. Like I need to listen to what this is saying son of jacob his first ever album i was excited but i should have jumped on it sooner because i feel like i wasn't there when the buzz was there for it and now that the buzz is dying down i am now ready to explode because the album bangs oh my gosh when i tell you yeah like I was expecting, I was expecting quality from Quezzy. I always do, I think he's great, but he blew it out of the park, bro. Like my head is spun. And like, even the people he's got on here, right? M Honcho for starters, like was not expecting that. M Honcho has also just paired up with Benson and dropped a song called Pray For East, I believe. I did do a reaction, it got blocked, but we're not here to talk about that. Um, guys, so M Honcho is definitely collabing with more, of the artists that I kind of listen to, which is sick to see, because I like the vibes. I like the UK vibes with the, yeah, I'm all here for it. Then obviously he's got uh, Tenny with Celebrate. Celebrate already got released before, so I already knew what to expect with that. He has one with Adekunle Gold. Oh, God, I need to talk about that. He's got one with Vic Menza. Then he's got two with Day on the Track, yeah? NSG, right. I was like, cool. I don't know what to expect with these. It is what it is. Let me just start the album and finish the album and see how I feel. Bro, after like track one, I was like, nah, I have made a mistake. Why did I not listen to this sooner? But bro, straight off with drama, the song is captivating. It touches on certain things. It just gets you hypnotized. It gets you into the mood. Okay, cool. This is the starting song. Let's get into it. Then he has a Bajo. I don't know if I've said that right. With Joe Boy. I feel like I listened to that before the album dropped. Did he release it before the album? I think he did. But that's a banger anyway. I knew that song for, for any reason. I knew that song before listening to it today. Now... Jungle Music Part 2 with Emma Huncho, yeah? <sighs> Lord, like, this is the collab I did not know I needed. M Huncho killed it for starters, yeah? Then when Quezzy came onto it, like, M Huncho basically takes, like, the main hook. He kind of gives us a more melody. And then Quezzy kills it, like, both of them together. Can I say also the lyrics are banging? It touches on things that can be relatable. Um, and yeah, I just, I love that song. Bro, that song. Wow. <laughs> it's like, I, I literally could not, you know, when you listen to something and you just replay it, replay it, replay it, replay it. I did, I probably had it on replay for hours and did not even know. Like, I'm obsessed with that song. I'm not going to stop talking about it, honestly, until I've literally rinsed it out. <laughs> Silver Spoon, I wasn't too keen about silver spoon i feel like it was just kind of like a middle song for me it was kind of like a filler um no disrespect to the song obviously yeah i know people are going to really love that song for me personally i was like okay cool i appreciate the song but it's not really my go-to i'm gonna jump into celebrate celebrate obviously with tenny obviously released before i knew the song it's a vibe man on, on spotify it's got over a million streams people know the song people like the song it is a specific vibe i feel like with tenny it always is just because of her voice and the way that she collabs with people so depending on what you like you might like that style you might not really but for me i like the song now then it goes into toxic now listen the only thing toxic about that song is the fact that it's literally taken over all my brain cells because bro i think Krille gold smashed that song yeah toxic the collab was sick i love seeing ag baby with more artists more different type of styles 
I just, I really, I'm here for him, man. I really love it. So when I saw that, he was like, I think this was the Adekole Gold feature and M. Honcho feature were the ones I was most excited about when I was looking at this album track list. But yeah, man, <sighs> Toxic is a vibe. That one is like, it stands out to me on the album because it's very different to all the other ones. And actually talking about that, like all the songs are actually quite different to what I had thought from Quezzy right now, man. So it gives you different type of feels and different vibes, but it all kind of syncs really well together. And it does seem like an uh, album, like a very well put together album. It doesn't seem to mix and match, but then it's not like the same either, like too similar. So it's got a really good dynamic. Oh my God, I love this album, you know. I can't lie. <laughs> anyway, then we go into Traumatised, which is obviously emotional as well. I'm going to go straight into winning, yeah. <laughs> winning is like, it gets you pumped. Like winning, the beat, the everything, like it's very, um, f it's much faster. It's like really up there with the tempo. With Vic Menza on the tune as well, like the dynamic, the way they <laughs> switched up and they flowed on the song is a lot, it's heavier rap style, I would say. Winning was sick, like my brother was in the room when I was playing Winning for the first time and we were just both sitting there like, yes, all right. And then um, my brother started like freestyling on the beat, like we were just, you know, so I feel like Winning is definitely that tune that kind of gets you pumped if you like rap, if you like Quizzy Arthur when he's proper heavily rapping, I feel like Winning is going to be your tune. That one for me was a huge vibe, I love that vibe. Now, Day on the Track. Am I familiar with Day on the Track? Nah, I'm not even going to lie to you lot. But there's obviously something wrong with me because when I listened to the next two songs, yeah, Mind Over Body and Animal, I was like, wait, hold on a sec. Bruv, like, the sweet voice, the vocals, the vibe he was bringing, I was like, okay, cool, I need to actually check him out. Who is Day on the Track? But, bro, out of Mind Over the bo Over Body and Animal, Animal was my favourite. I kept replaying it like, yo, this is like a whole different experience on this album it was like tapping into a different style kind of like it was kind of like very immersive i don't really know the words to put it in but animal was giving me all the vibes i feel like that song was just like taking me on a journey the beat i really loved everything about that song honestly go check that one out diamonds dancing with nsg now listen it didn't really stick out to me that much, guys. I'm no disrespect to NSG, man. Those are my guys from the UK. Obviously, I respect them. I love them for what they're doing. And yeah, I've covered NSG on this channel bare time. So you know it's all love. But Diamonds Dancing, for me, I don't know, man. It wasn't really one that I was like super hyped about. I feel like there's definitely other songs on this album that kind of captivated me more not to say diamond dancing is not great i mean it could be someone else's tune for me personally it wasn't really but go check it out anyway obviously now we come into no regrets and adam the last tunes of the album <sighs> man i don't even know what to say it just summed up the album really well it was like a nice finish overall this album just bangs like go check out son of jacob man like i haven't been i haven't been paid to say this i have not been asked to promo the album i have not been there's no reason for me to be sitting here and doing this especially because the album actually got released a, a little while ago so really and truly i could have just let it slide and just you know not even covered it but i had to come on here and actually give my two cents on the situation because Quezzy killed it big love to him man i'm really really am rooting for you and sorry for sleeping on your album man <laughs> guys obviously show love in the comments let me know what you think of that album for me i'm not gonna lie it's a solid uh, for me i'm gonna say a solid eight or nine out of ten and the only reason why it's probably not a 10 out of 10 is because it's just not really usually my style of music. I don't really cover rap that much. I don't really listen to rap too much. But, and that's probably why. But other than that, I love it. I love the, I love the album. So nothing bad to say. Big up Quezzy every time. And yeah, man, until next time, obviously message me on my socials. 
by the time I've, you've probably watched this video, I'm going to be on 50k subscribers. I cannot believe my eyes. I cannot believe that I'm even on 50k, guys. The whole thing is a madness to me. So, yeah, guys, until next time, we've been from Just Vibes. Bye.